Hello soulmates, welcome back to my channel. I am Adula. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I'm going to show us how to make a pleated dress with a notched collar top. So if you're interested, let's get started. To make a pleated dress with a notched collar bodies, you're going to be needing any of these fabric. You can use Duchess, you can use satin, you can use crepe. You can use an African print fabric. It's going to be very okay. So I have, I'm using Duchess here and I'm working with three yards. So we're going to start with the pattern, which is very important. So here I have my pattern paper open. So I'll be using this part as the front and this other side as the back, okay? So now I'm going to explain a bit of what I have here because I've started marking out some points. So now this is the body's length. What I'm working with is um, 15 inches as the body's length. So work with your own measurement. Now for this front side, make sure to leave like three inches space here because we'll be adding a lapel. So you need that space for both your lapel and your sewing allowance. And then for this upper side, make sure you have like four inches space or even three, inch, three to four inches space for your collar and your sewing allowance as well. That is for this upper side, okay? So now the first thing to do is to mark out the shoulder measurement which is what i've done already i'm working with seven and quarter but um the normal shoulder measurement is seven inches but this is this part is going to be like a jacket so it needs to be a little free so i added quarter inch to that so all you need to do is to add quarter inch to your own shoulder measurement and then this is the chest line or the armhole line so for this chest line i added half inch again because this part this one's supposed to be a little free because it's like a jacket. So this chest area should be a little free. It's not supposed to be too tight. So just add half inch to whatever you use as the armhole or the chest line measurement. Okay. So now we'll start with the neck width and the neck depth. So this part is what will determine the shape of your lapel and the color. This part will also determine the fit that the lapel will have on the chest area. So now for this side, it should be a little fitted that is the neck weight and the neck depth should be a little fitted so that by the time you attach the collar and so the um, lapel it will the chest area will not be too open it will just fit as it's supposed to be now to make it easier for you this is the formula that i normally um, use normal if you're making a normal uh, ball dress i advise that you use half of the armhole measurement now for instance the half of my armhole measurement is um three and a half that is what i have here is seven for the normal uh basic bodies i have a video on that if you really want to watch it you can also check that out so half of my armhole measurement is 3.5 so i will just remove one inch from it to give me 2.5 so i'll just mark the 2.5 now as the neck um width so all you need to do, make sure you get this calculation very well before you uh, minus any inch so that you don't make any mistake. So just minus one inch using half of the armhole measurement, whatever you're working with that, just remove one inch, one inch from it, whatever you have, use that as the neck width. So I have my two and a half here now as the neck width and you're also going to use the same as the neck depth. You can see I have two and a half also as the neck Depth. So I'll just go ahead and connect the neckline. Now you can see this is just the different from the normal uh, basic bodies pattern and the one for the one that is for a jacket. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and connect. So I'll come over to this back side. I'm going to use the same two and half as the neck width but on this other side i'll just use quarter and inch for this neck depth that is for this uh, back side and i'll just connect so I'll just quickly connect now after connecting we're going to determine we're going to determine now the fault line or the break line that is where you want the lapel to start or end or the break uh, you can call it the break point so we're going to determine that now so you can decide either to use 
the waistline or center um, in between the waist and the armhole line to create the break point but for, for me i'll be using this armhole line as the break point because i don't want it to be too open and secondly i don't want the child to wear anything inside um if she wants to use the dress okay because if you want the break line to be on this waist definitely the child must put on something inside before putting on this dress so for me i'll be using the armhole line before creating the fourth line the first thing we're going to do is to uh, mark out our button allowance this is very important so i'll just use one inch you can use 0 0.75 so i'm just marking out one inch from this um, neckline all the way down to the waist line and then i'll just go ahead and connect okay now remember i said i'll be using the ammo line as the break point so the first thing i'm going to do is to connect it now from this neckline i'll just take it all the way down to this end okay so I'll just place my ruler this way and take it straight to that point so I'll just go ahead and connect it straight so we have our break point which is on this armhole line okay so after doing this now we are going to create the lapel now the lapel is you can decide how wide or small you want the lapel to be so this is where on this neckline is where you're going to be creating your lapel so all i'm going to do because i don't want mine to be too um wide so i'll just mark 0.75 you can use half inch if you're making this for small kids this is for a teenager from the half length that i just said is 15 you should know it's for a big girl so this is 0 0.75 so after marking that out we are going to connect it straight to meet up to this point you can decide to um, make it straight or use the curvy parts of your ruler to connect so i'll just use this curvy parts a bit just to connect it to meet up to this point right here and you can see that our lapel is ready you can see that it's very easy so we'll come over to the collar area now so the next thing i'm going to do is to measure what i have on this back neckline okay so to do that i'm going to place my ruler this way to check what i have on that point is 2.75 you can see just place your ruler this way uh, your tape this way to get whatever you have there 2.75 then i'll come to this neckline and mark 2.75 i'm just making a dot because i'll use my ruler to connect it using this same method or this and make sure that you place your ruler the same way you connect the um, lapel line just place your ruler that way and then connect this that is the collar it should not be straight it should not be straight this way you can see i just follow the line place your ruler that way and connect it to wherever you mark yours okay so this is where mine is so this is it the next thing is to determine the size of the collar if you want you can make it um three inches two and a half 2.75 depending on the wideness that you want to achieve so for this i'll make it 2.75 but when you're making this make sure it's not straight it should be a little a bit slanted okay so you can see it's a little slanted it's not straight okay now to give you a guide on how to get this point you can see now that my ruler is straight this way now just go up by half an inch that way it's going to be slanted okay this is just to help you know how to slant this particular area so now that is the point 2.75 so after doing this now the next thing to do on this area you know this is going to be like i said is a notched collar so we're going to notch it from this point okay so from this point i'll just go up by one inch all right like i was saying from this point 
just go up by one inch or one and quarter or even one and half depending on the wideness of this part that you're going to be notching okay so after doing that now i will now connect it back to this um this button allowance point here i'll just take it in there or you can also move it to the initial line that we have here as the neckline so this part you can just play with it you can always be creative on this area so now let me just connect it now straight not curvy to this initial line i'll be using this one let me just make this one to be a little different from the other ones that i've been doing so now this is where we have notched the collar so on this area all you need to do is to connect you can decide to make it straight or a little curvy you just play around with this part okay i'm using this my this uh, armhole area just to give it a little curve on this part and then the collar is ready this is what i have so all i'm going to do is to add my sewing allowance if you want you can always add it now or when you cut your pattern out you can then add that so now I'll come over to this chest line to mark out the chest measurement now the chest measurement for this is um, 35 or making it 36 like I said it should be a little free so now half of that 36 divided by um, 4 is going to give me 9 and then I'm adding 1 again as my sewing allowance then for this um, armhole curve I'll just go in the same way we do so I'll just go in by half an inch and then connect the points and the pattern is almost ready so I'll just use my free hand or you can use your um, armhole curve and then curve that in now for this back side I'll not be going in by any quarter of an inch I'll just connect it from the chest line I'll just connect it to meet up to that center point just like that and the pattern is ready so let me just quickly connect Here you can see that my pattern is ready and this is how you're going to cut it make sure that this is separate and then for the back side remember to add a zipper allowance because this is going to have a zipper so don't forget to add a zipper allowance for the back and of course on this area i might not um i cut out half an inch on this area so if you're a returning subscriber you should know why i did this for the back side so i'll just go ahead now and place it on my fabric and cut so this is the lapel you can see it is very short okay if you don't want it to sit on this armhole line you can place it on the waistline or anywhere you prefer yours to be so this is what mine is going to look like so i'm going to 
cut this out and i'm going to show us how to sew this in another video so that is it for today please subscribe if you have not and i'll see you all in my next video